I think Gord is more excited about the food than anyone here. If food is the way to get to a cerveza, you bet. Ah! <laughs> Are you scared? I don't know. <laughs> oh my. I see that you already want to start the food tour right here. Yeah, I start my own crepe my own. <laughs> Hola again, the Playa del Carmen. Today we're gonna do a very different video here because when I was doing my research about what to eat in this area, I discovered that the food here in this part of Mexico is very different from the traditional Mexican food we're all used to, especially in the United States. So the best way for us to really try and understand what the food here is all about is to join a food tour. I did my research and discovered the most well-rated food tour in this area here. It's called Eating with Carmen and that's what we're doing. I reached out to them, explained that I I'd love to do a video, asked if it would be okay. They said, of course, join us here. I'm very excited to show you what the food in Playa del Carmen and the Riviera Maya is all about. The food in Playa has roots in the Maya civilization, but also it's now a mix of flavors from across Mexico and even the world. Many websites claim that Playa is among the fastest growing cities in Latin America, so people that move here also bring a little bit of their cuisine. Gracias. <laughs> Today we're going to discover where the locals go. Muy bien, muy bien. Yo soy Renata. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Alex. Alex. Okay. <laughs> we're eating quesadillas, tacos, enchiladas. Follow me, please. This is our first place. We're having quesadillas. Okay. I brought a little appetizer for you. Did you ever try a sweet tamal? Not sweet, not sweet. Sweet corn tamal with raisins and strawberry. I hope you like it because I spent the whole night cooking it. <laughs> <laughs> we usually make tamales with chicken and green sauce and red sauce. They're salty, right? But um, we also make sweet tamales to have some breakfast with some coffee. Uh huh. Gracias. The Mexican way will be with the hands, but I have some forks. I have. Mm. You let me know if you want. Some. Thank you, Alex. It is so cool. It is warm. It tastes like a dessert. I, I love it. It reminds me a little bit of a cake. You saw that, right? Yeah. Like a cake. The consistency is not like a cake. Look at this. The flavor is though. <laughs> Candy cornbread. Okay. So, how do you like the candy cornbread? It was good. It was good. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Okay. How about our quesadillas? With la coche, so we're trying here. This is a mushroom. You find it on the cornfields. It's more like a fungus. In Mexico, it's a pre Hispanic tradition. Eat with la coche. Aztecs and Mayans find out that it's very healthy. Wow. Take a look on your ingredients. Are you scared? I don't know. <laughs> Muchas gracias. With the coche means the poop of the god. It has a very specific taste. This is totally different. It looks interesting. <laughs> I think you look scared, Gordon. <laughs> I'm scared. Interesting. Trying the Mexican way. Big bite, Gordon. <laughs> and the with la coche. What does it taste like? I don't know. It's strange. Sorry? It's strange. Yeah. It's very strange. Does it taste like God's poop? No. Does it taste like mushroom? Yeah. It's... No, not not that I remember. Interesting flavor. This is one of those things that um, if, I, if I was not on a food tour, I'd never order. And it's nice to be discovering it. He asked if he wanted to be adventurous. I'll go with a more traditional quesadilla, like pork, meat, um, chicken. I guess we all went for the wheat la coche here. Everybody being adventurous. Just a lot of this cheese. Um, but it doesn't taste like mushroom at all. I, no. I don't think so. A little bit of spice in the end. I think it's interesting, it's interesting. I don't think it's bad, no. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I got used to, you know. <laughs> Handmade corn tortilla, very different from machine, prefabricated tortillas, okay. delicious. And the cheese there is Oaxaca cheese. 
your reaction was priceless. Do you like mushroom? I, actually, I did like that. Yes. Playa del Carmen is well known for the street art. And look at what we discovered walking to the next restaurant. Looks really cool. Oh, to be just like her? That group that paints the murals, they leave this signature here in every street, indicating that they have some murals. Bienvenidos, welcome. This one very traditional. Like oh, yeah. So we're having enchiladas oh, mm -hmm. with mole sauce. Mole is made out of chocolate. The, the recipe in the Asian Mexico before the Spanish people came. They used to make it just with cacao seeds, pumpkin seeds, dried peppers, and tomato. With the Spanish conquer, they brought lots of ingredients from Europe. And now mole has around 40, 35 ingredients on it. It's a whole gastronomic experience. Oh, gracias. Cheese? Okay, gracias. Cheese and chicken. The name of the sauce here is mole. That's a lot of mole. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the most different enchilada I've ever had. <laughs> so now I gotta try the cheese, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's switch here, try the cheese, and I'll try the chicken. So which one you prefer? This is good to me. No, baby, one is chicken, one is cheese. <laughs> it's a lot of sauce. Yeah, the chicken is very good too. Both are good, but I prefer the cheese. Ciao, gracias. <laughs> very simple restaurant called Antojitos, and our guide was explaining that it is a local favorite here. Hard to find a seat in the morning. Welcome. We're having aguas frescas, natural fruit water. <laughs> It's huge, huh? Yeah, bigger than a grapefruit. I'm gonna explain the flavors for you. Horchata, rice with milk and cinnamon. Muchas gracias. Mmm, this is like a rice milk. That's exactly what it is. Delicious, very tasty. Seriously, I could have this every day. I love it. Guanabana. I recommend that if you're trying, you're looking for something new, Guanabana. I think the translation is sour stuff. So. But it's not that sour, it's sweet actually. I'll be the adventure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is so sweet. So sweet. <laughs> Your face was not sweet. That's very good. Is it? I have tried. Oh, that's delicious. The consistency is strange, um, but it tastes delicious. It's thicker. Yeah, thicker. It has some slices here, like pieces of the real fruit here inside. I like it. Guessing game with the different types of pepper. This is the serrano. Chile Serrano. Now everyone needs to make a bite. Poblano. Oh. <laughs> Buy Mexican pong. Oh. Jalapeño. Very famous. <laughs> Habanero. Habanero. Oh. Banana pepper. Oh. Oh. Jalapeño. Very famous. Actually, jalapeño. It's not a chile, like a traditional chile. This one was created in a lab. Ah. It's a hybrid between poblano and serrano. Oh, wow. Mame, this is a fruit very traditional in Mexico. I call it the girl avocado. <laughs> <laughs> because it's pink. <laughs> Aguacate. Yeah. <laughs> Five for yeah. Some competition right there. <laughs> Our next stop here is so busy that we can't eat inside. It is popular and must be really good. 
It took a few minutes, but we made it. Very few foreigners. Yeah, yeah. So you know you're in the right place, huh? When the menu is on the wall, you know that the place is traditional. Suadero, I call it the Mexican brisket. You asked for intestines. <laughs> Bacon, bacon flavor. That's so. what you expect. <laughs> Push your switch. Try. Try. Okay. Just tastes like crunchy meat. Not like bacon? A little bit, but not the bacon meat, the bacon fat. Ah, uh, okay. What is your other one? Carne and gelato. So how do you compare? Better. We wouldn't go with the intestines again. <laughs> no. Mine here. One is suadero and the other one is bistec de reis. Wow, that is so interesting how they put two tortillas here for each taco. I don't know which one is first here because they both look very similar. Delicious taco. This is the other one. If there's any difference. The second one has a lot more fat than the first. I prefer the first. A lot of food. The one that I thought was harder was bistec de reis. Suadero was the perfect one for me. I love it. And finally, look at this. Taco al pastor. Taco pastor actually came from Lebanon and traditionally it was made with lamb, but lamb would not work here in Mexico. They adapted to pork and it is a success. Lebanese people immigrated to Mexico a long time ago in the 1870s. So we got a lot of Lebanese heritage in our blood. So here's the pork, and it comes with pineapple also. The pineapple is supposed to help with your digestion. First impression? Wonderful. <laughs> Good. Which taco is your favorite so far? Tripe. The tripe. <laughs> the tripas. <laughs> My first time eating taco al pastor, the famous one. Wow. This is such a different taste, especially when you have the pineapple together with the pork. Yeah. I really like it because normally I'd not order a taco with pineapple, <laughs> but great way to discover food. I'd totally have this again. There's a little left, Gordon, a little left. <laughs> I love this. Time for dessert, Mexican popsicles. We got a water base and a meal base. No tequila base? <laughs> <laughs> Spicy pineapple. Mm. Spicy mango. Wow. Spicy, very? Different. A little bit, yeah. Muchas gracias. Look at this popsicle. Yeah. Strawberry, mango, and kiwi. The fruits, the real fruits here. I thought it would be spicy. But it's not really spicy, huh? No. This is Gordon. It's really good. I was even careful here with the bite. Good. Now let me go for mine. By far the most beautiful popsicle I've ever had. Really, really delicious. Pure fruit. We had such a wonderful time here with our guide Alex, who introduced us all this great deliciousness, goodness, all these delicious foods here. Thank you so much, Alex. Fantastic job. Now I have a question for you. Which one is your favorite? Oh, hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> Being Mexican, it's hard to say, but I will stay with the taco al pastor with flour tortilla. Oh, that was my favorite too. You know, taco al pastor, that was absolutely my favorite. First time that I tried it was here. I never expected it would be so good. It is. And I, I don't know if it's that place, and, and every taco al pastor is that good, but that one that we had was phenomenal. Must be the place. And yeah, all around Mexico is good pastors. Yeah. Come and get the tour. Absolutely, Ooh. eating with Carmen, and hopefully you get Alex, because he does an amazing job. <laughs> eating with Carmen, is there a lady called Carmen, or is it just because of Playa del Carmen? The mom's owner is called Really? Yeah. That's so, that's and so it's nice. it's a big coincidence that uh, we are located in Playa del Carmen. Uh-huh. Right? Very nice, awesome. We did the entire 
entire tour here in English, so if we speak English also, yes. it works. It works, don't worry. All right, see ya. Yeah. Another thing that was interesting about the tour is that we went to a lot of local places. We tried street food, you know, and when you try street food in a foreign country, you not always know what you're gonna get. But having someone local who knows the quality of the food, it's a much better option, much safer. Okay, Gordon, now the question for you. Which is your favorite taco? Today. <laughs> The intestines? Uh, <laughs> You're really adventurous. <laughs> yeah, because I can double process the food. Sabroso! <laughs> <laughs>